Oh. I heard you don't like this. This is not the start I expected. Uh, this is like all the nightmares I used to have as a kid of waking up and finding myself locked in the creepy old library. Uh, well, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Half-Life Alex. And today, over a year late, the map we're going to be trying out is Garavito Hotel. A horror map which actually belongs to the same trilogy as two maps that I played previously, that being Late Shift, and I think one was called Night Visitor? I don't quite remember at this moment. But this one is actually heavily inspired by The Shining. Sort of combining workplace horror with that sort of isolated element, because we are the new caretaker of this hotel during the off-season. So, let's see if we can't find a light switch or something. Uh, never mind. Thanks, ghosts. Good, good looking out. Uh, wait, you heard that, right? Wait, boy. Oh, there's the ringing, but then there's, like... It sounds almost like a mumbling, like upstairs or something. Okay, yeah, no, phones... Phones never ring only five times in, in media. I hate the creaking of those doors. Uh, Source 2 really is like the next evolution in indie horror, I think. Oh, look at the light pouring through those windows. This is all so realistic. I feel like I'm here. Everything's so tactile. I feel it when my hand touches something. Okay, let's let's stop the noise. Ah, hello. If I stand corrected, you must be the new caretaker. We have so many come and go that it's hard to remember. Sorry I couldn't be there to introduce myself and give you the grand tour of our fine hotel. A few important things came up that I had to attend to. I'll explain everything quickly. On the left side of the building, you will find the brown room, which is the ballroom of our fine establishment. We host many events in there and serve a large variety of foods and drink. On the right side, you will find our classic pool. In the middle, you will find our grand staircase and balcony overlook. This is the most scenic part of our hotel. Along the back, upstairs and downstairs, are the rooms. If the housekeeping did their job right, they should be all locked up for the summer openings. Also, as you know, school has stopped back up, meaning customers are busy at work. So this is the perfect time to prepare the hotel for summer, which is the peak of the hotel's income. The reason you were hired so quickly is exactly due to this issue. Summer starts in around two months' time, and there is much to do. Sadly, our previous caretaker had a bad fall, which ended up in costing his life. This was so unexpected and happened so quickly that we also had to act quickly and replace him as soon as possible. I've left the key to your room in my office on my desk. Your room number is 41. Make sure to read the hotel rule sheet in your room. It is vital that you do this. After you've done that, take some time to settle in, relax a bit, and then get to work. We can't waste time, there is much to do, and money is always on the line. I might call back later tonight. Make sure you keep this phone on the hook. Okay, will do, boss. Oh, this is so creepy. <laughs> Empty hotel, all to ourselves. And nothing but the shadows behind us to keep us constantly glancing over our shoulder. I'm not sure what that little flickering blue light over there is, but uh, the previous caretaker killed in mysterious circumstances. I just finished Half-Life Alex finally last night, and it truly offers just like next level immersion, and I cannot wait for more people to be working in Hammer 2. 
because so far it's the only VR engine where I can just be totally into it simply by being here. Alright, so as much as I would love an entire experience of just sitting here at the desk, I don't think anybody's coming in, so we needed to get to room 41, uh, which will serve as our quarters. I'm going to be looking around for notes because uh, it did say on the workshop page that we should be looking at these things for the full experience. I've got photos of uh, parties and guests that have taken place in this hotel, I suppose. Uh, dear all staff, I'd like to inform you that the current management isn't the reason for the killings in this hotel. The killings so far have no leads and are being ruled off as suicides or accidents, and yet you refer to them as killings. I'd like to also inform you that these deaths have been dated back to the 1930s. So far, it's impossible to count exactly how many people have died on these grounds, because they've been going back to the point where we don't even have the documents to count it. Also, whoever keeps playing the piano, please stop. It's not funny. Get back to work. Ah, yes! <laughs> Bravo, guys! I can't actually clap my hands, but good job, good job reassuring the staff. I'm sure that will set all their minds at ease, especially me. Uh, you're all staff. If you have any concerns about the hotel, please place them below. Due to recent events, we are trying to lower concerns. Uh, Clark Green, the janitor. Uh, Bob Vex went into the chemicals cupboard last month. After that, I think he was sacked or something. Anyone know what happened? Uh, Thomas, it's kind of hard to read this in VR. Uh, I've been hearing and seeing some really, really strange things. I'm really scared, and there's a crease there, so I can't read the rest. Can't read that, can't read any of that. Uh, Elizabeth something? Media manager. Look, we really need to stop covering up the recent events. It's getting out of hand, and we need to allow the police to come in and work without issues. Uh, so the management is actually combative in the investigations. Uh, and Harry Ford, janitor. Uh... Mean words? Eh, I'm sorry. Oh wait, Thomas just wanted to leave, and now he's dead because of you. Get your act together. This Harry Ford knows something that the rest don't. Oh wait, no, this Thomas... This is, uh, this is the previous caretaker. The one who fell. Uh, okay, next thing. Dear all staff of Garavito Hotel, As you all know, we sadly lost our caretaker, Thomas, last month. It appeared he slipped down the main hall stairs and had a severe head injury. We will be hiring a new caretaker this week. He'll be doing a late shift to clean up and fix up where Thomas failed. What a uh, great, great eulogy right there. Uh, we will be giving Thomas's family a decently sized check to help them in their moments of sorrow. As always, any issues with our employees shouldn't stop your work. Continue working and caring for our customers. This week is the start of school, meaning we won't be having any customers. So I want the place to be back in, in fit shape for three months' time to where the holidays start back up. And of course, because the hotel is closed, doesn't mean you stop working. There is always something to be done. CEO William Moore the way this place is run is literally criminal. Dear all staff, stop talking about the recent events. We cannot allow the media to, to get a hold of our current situation. It will ruin us. I suggest strongly that if you all want to keep your jobs or a decent income, you stop talking about the killings. Here at management, we know nothing that can assist the police into finding the source of this. It's why we're trying to cover it up and not talk to the media. It's giving us a bad look. You guys don't need help to be given a bad look. Also, is that... Is that grammar correction lines on the printed document? We would love very much to help the police, but again, we don't have any information that can assist them into getting leads. So far, the deaths are purely suicide or accidents. Do not talk about them. You're simply making the situation far worse. Uh, yeah, as always, the writing remains a bit of a weak point, but it certainly makes up for it in atmosphere. Okay, so let's, uh, let's try and work out where we go. Uh, here is our office, and I certainly see the shining inspiration. 
Uh, I thought I just heard like a crunching sound to my left. Ah, oh, this is so cool to look at. Uh, be sure to read the documents you find in the game. It's very important to understand. Glowing keys are important to the story. They will unlock doors when equipped. Okie dokie. Oh, well, <laughs> if only we had the ability to sit down. Oh, this computer appears to be on. Well, let's just, uh, let's just settle into our new accommodations. I could get used to a view like this. Hmm. Seems like there's a, uh, Windows update or something running on command prompt. Uh, I wanted to see if, like, the mouse would actually move on the screen. No such luck. Uh, and we can pick these documents up. Dear CEO William Moore, I'd suggest not making silly cover-up stories. Make them simple and not questionable, such as, a, such as a boiler leak in the basement or asbestos damage making it impossible to enter the basement at the current time. Ever since we discovered that find under the basement, I'd suggest asking the police for advice, as well as asking them kindly to not leave the information, wait, to not leak the information given to them. As you know, it would ruin us if the mainstream media discovered the find under the hotel. Well, you know, for somebody who's trying to cover something up and keep the police off your back, you sure are leaving a lot of sensitive documents out in the open. Uh, also, I, I know you lost the key to the chemical cupboard. Please find it or ask the staff to look for it. Didn't one of the employees have an incident there? It disappeared there, actually, after accessing it. If a, if a something... If a rogue employee were to check the cupboard and discover the find, or even a customer, which would be far worse, it would ruin us. For the sake of our jobs, please listen to me, Elizabeth Robson. And just the smallest speck of blood. Okay, so is this our room key? Hello? We've discovered the source of the glowing, but I can't seem to actually pick it up. All right, let's have a look at some of these other things then. Might as well, right? Also, I've got to be mindful that I'm using the two-eyed view, so I need to stand more towards the center of the room so you guys don't see the outline. Uh, monthly outputs. Morgue spec something. 5,000 5, pounds. That... What? What, what, is that, what does that mean? Actually, there's a whole lot of really weird uh, expenses on here. Like, it starts normal, red carpet cleaners, but then Innocent Smoothies, Stanley Kubrick Productions, NHS cover sheets, I suppose that makes sense, Steam Products, GabeInValveSoftware.com, info at Stanley Hotel, uh, and the morgue things, which is, you know, far more concerning. Wait, what is this? The Times. A uh, dark past discovered at Garavito Hotel. A witch of the name Sarah Don was drowned in the lake up front of the hotel after she was discovered attempting to curse the hotel after murdering her child for a sacrifice. Yeah, no, management, you're gonna have a tough time explaining that one. Information taken from the year 1961, murdered by the hotel staff after the discovery. The police at the time stated the child's blood was on Sarah's hands and that the child was murdered in a rather horrific and brutal way. The ritual markings from around the hotel show that Sarah had some sort of devil-worshipping plan, but was spoiled after she had fallen from the upper balcony and broke her leg. Evidence shows that a few hours passed until she was found by the hotel staff and taken to her demise. The CEO at the time states that the staff lost their minds and took Sarah to her death without any instruction. Wait, so they disposed of her, basically like a lynching, after she fell from the upstairs balcony, just like the previous caretaker? I'm getting a little confused by this. This is dumping a lot on us, and we barely stepped past the front desk. Let me pick up the key, please. All right, well, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, since it doesn't want me to have it right now. And let's have a look in the back. Oh, I wonder, can we actually call the elevator? Oh, let's not get distracted. I'm not liking the thought of walking into that. <sighs> Listen to the, like, the crack of the floorboards as we take a step forward. <laughs> A 
Okay, well, at a certain point, we have to accept that these are motion sensors. Uh, but wow, I would actually love to have a job like this. Uh, the creepy, comfy aspect of all this? I mean, even getting that story, I wouldn't mind. Well, I wouldn't mind the ghost story. I would probably mind the murderous upper management. Uh, but look at that. Uh, perhaps uh, an old wedding that took place right here? My trademark sitting here and waiting for me? Uh, you know, you're supposed to put it in a holder. But wow, it's... Didn't the staff say that, like, something weird, like, people have been hearing the piano playing in the night? That actually works in everything. Why does that look so much like Kyle MacLachlan? All I see is Agent Cooper. But yeah, it said the rooms are in the back and we are looking for room 41. I'm sure that conspicuously placed radio will not begin playing at any point. I guess that's the exterior of the place. Or, well, I know the exterior of the place it is, but uh, in universe, I mean. I don't like how you keep making me wade into pitch blackness. Oh, listen to the way our footsteps echo off these empty halls. Oh, this... With the inspiration being The Shining, I gotta say, you nailed it. Bravo, because this is awesome. Here we are. But we don't have the key, because it wouldn't let me pick it up. Oh, look at that. We can just see the glow from the outside windows covered by curtains on the other side of the darkened rooms. Ah, oh, that gives me the heebie-jeebies. Just imagining, like, a shadow crossing in front of the doorway. All right, we need to figure out how to pick this thing up. There we go. I had to hover it just the right distance. Let's uh, check out our new accommodations then. Hate this. Hate it so much. Please turn on. I didn't do that. Okay, but we do still have control of the door. And it won't latch. That's a little awkward. Well, <laughs> I suppose we should check every room, make sure that there's no spooky, scary managers hiding around. Oh, this bathtub looks truly gross. Doesn't seem like the caretakers did do their job, Mr. CEO. Well, these accommodations look nice. Uh, let's see what's on the old tube, shall we? Uh, it's the Scanline show. I always used to like that one. Welcome to the Garavito Hotel. This is the official brochure to the five-star hotel, Garavito. Inside, you'll find plenty of information about the hotel, the best sites, its uh, amazing history, the food it offers, and the finest of decor and design. Well, one of those things is true, and another thing is kind of true. Uh, wait, is there anything on the back? Uh, nope, nope, nope. Hello. Welcome to your stay at the Garavito Hotel. We have your room all set out for you. If you have any complaints, please give them to reception. We have a few rules we require you to follow in order for your most safe, friendly experience with the staff and myself. No standing on the beds. Clean your room before leaving. Oh yeah, five-star hotel. Do not leave any belongings. No pets. No using the pool from 12 p.m. onwards. Avoid leaving your room from 12 p.m. onwards. Keep children by your side at all times. Avoid looking straight down long hallways. Well, I'll, I'll do my best, but... If you hear odd old music coming from the orange room, avoid it. 
and stay in the light. Well, giving your light system, that's not going to be the easiest thing. I know this might seem odd, but it's for the safety of our customers and the staff around them. Thank you, William Moore. Well, Billy Moore, you and I are going to have beef, aren't we? Well, with all this said and done, I guess we just, uh, I guess we just explore? I mean, what else have we got to do for three months, right? Let's have at it. Uh, now that, certainly, certainly bad at covering things up since they basically all but state that something weird is going on here. And they don't want us to know about it. Uh, they really need to hire a marketing team because this guy cannot keep his mouth shut to save his life. What the heck? Huh. Well, must have been the wind, because uh, I'm not getting on a ladder to put my hand up and stop those things. Uh, I do not have a good feeling about this. I'm really, I'm really playing into the librarian, the type of guy to say this type of meme now, aren't I? Oh, look at that, the way the light reflects over the, over the wood. What is this here? Uh, was that the front door? Should I... Oh, the elevators probably do work, then. There's something... I, it's too dark to see, but it looks like there's some kind of mural here. Alright, well, we'll come back to that later. I shouldn't be standing on this balcony. Let's go. Doom, 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 doom. Uh, don't stare down the long hallways. Is this thing coming, or what? I don't think it's coming. Alright, let's go. Taking the stairs. I really wish I could run. See, normally I would take that as just the building settling, but uh, I don't really accept that at the moment. Uh, there's the bar over there. And maybe we can go talk to the old caretaker. Maybe channel him. All right, are those knocks supposed to be at this door? At the front door? No. Understandable, sir, goodbye. Let's go have a look at the bar. See, the cool thing about this place is that the lights are on in there. We've just got to cross the shadows. The brown room. Sometimes there's nothing to say. All I can do is just kind of stand in awe at how amazingly cozy and horrifyingly creepy this map is. All right, well, I don't think any ghost bartender is going to be offering me any drinks tonight, so maybe we don't tempt fate and keep it that way? Can we get back here? Sure, I was explicitly told to stay out of the darkness, but why not? Oh no, this is the worst version of the stall game. The absolute worst version. Okay. I don't like slamming them because I don't like the noise it makes, but it's the best and fastest way to do this. It Forget it. Forget it. 
that echo, that little thing alone is such a nice touch, it's unbelievable. And this is something different. I really don't like this. I don't like doing this every single room. It's awful. Shelves here. Oh no! I just had a horrible realization. Those aren't shelves on the walls. Those are looking through to what is probably the darkened kitchen, right? Ah, oh, in an instant, I just like felt so much less safe. I need a safety melon. Come on, Safety Melon. They won't miss one. Come on, let's go. Dear CEO William Moore, So we have some real issues here in the kitchen. We simply just don't have enough food to supply our guests with. I understand the holidays are now here, but seriously, we need to stock up for when they end or we're going to be in some serious trouble. I'm tired of my cooks complaining about the lack of ingredients. We've started to use cat... wait, cat salt on our fries? Also, what the heck kind of chicken is this? Check out the left bottom freezer when you can. Is this a new import from Russia? I mean, I know we use Russian drinks, but are we using Russian turkeys now too? What's, what's wrong with the classic British ones we always use? Plus, they look less creepy in the head eating than this. Please take my advice into consideration. Vice Head Chef James Goodwin. What do you mean, Russian turkey? Colin Headcrab. Colin Headcrab. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> well, I think that's about all there is to do here. Now, that doesn't sound criminal. That just sounds like mismanagement. Actually, let's really examine the story as it's been told so far, right? It seems like this place did a lot more than just draw the ire of a witch. It may have been actively involved in witchcraft, given how they shut her up, their, their need to keep this all under wraps. And it seems to be multi-generational too, so uh, this family establishment might all be for some greater purpose. I don't know, I'm reading a lot out of not a lot so far, but it seems like that's the direction this is going. Oh, is that the set of The Shining? And this brings us right back over here, uh, which means that the opposite side must be the pool. Actually, I, I do feel much better going through that way than through the, uh, than through the main hall, uh, simply because... I, I don't want to walk in there being able to see the windows on the other side. For some reason, that makes it so much worse. I'm just anticipating a shadow slithering across my vision. At least here, I won't see it. With that instruction to not look down long hallways, every time it plays that little sound, it makes me feel like I've made a big mistake. So, day one of 90 is going great. Huh, real great. But I really like how not much has happened up until this point. I mean, it's actually showing a surprising amount of restraint. So far, it's just the general spookiness of being alone and some very general, hmm, that's weird. It's all about the space, and that's exactly how it should be. That's trudging around upstairs. 
<laughs> we can't even go investigate. I hate you. All right. Thankfully, boss man's calling again. All right, we are closing this door behind us. That's the phone in here. We're closing this one too. Then. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? You must be the new caretaker. This is Elizabeth Robson. I'm the head of media in the hotel. If you find an old key, place it on William's desk. It's the key to the chemical cupboard. It's been lost for some time, and it's really important that it's located. Also, stay safe. I know William pushes it off, but the hotel isn't what it seems. Stay in the light. So it isn't haunted? Because it seems haunted, is what it seems like. Like that. Uh, she hung up. It's like taking your car to the mechanic. It never makes the same noise. Get on that hook. Now, of course I did notice that safe in the corner over there. And I'm wondering if it's actually ever going to come into play. And that radio equipment here. Uh, may not be important for this map, but... It played a role in the film. Oh wait, there's another document over there. Oh, it's just another brochure. Alright. Nope, come on. Open up. Okay, so where are we going now? The only place we haven't really checked is the downstairs hallway, right? So we continue with that, and we've got to find that key. To the cupboard. Oh look, we can actually see the keys moving on their own. ghosts would respond to a reaction like this because I wouldn't mind this sort of company in all truthfulness this is actually making me feel less alone which it probably shouldn't because I, I'd be the guy I'd be the one foolish guy who wants to convene with the ghosts and ends up getting killed in spectacular karmic fashion Let's continue to have a look for that key. We need to get into that chemical cupboard. And I guess ultimately to the basement. It said that this all started actually when they found something down there. When they found something buried beneath the hotel. Still at it, eh? And there's sound coming from this as well. It's switched on. Not playing anything, but it is unmistakably turned on. All right, I suppose we just keep walking around. I do remember... Okay, maybe there's multiple entities here, uh, and some of them don't like each other's playing. Luckily, the piano seems to have tanked that like a champ. I've got to remember that for when I'm walking up the stairs. Okay, how are we going to explain that one to management? Okay, is there anything to be done up here? And I do not like being here. Uh, everything, everything seems to center around this balcony. 
Like, this is where the craziest of the crazy always occurs. I, I guess we just keep walking. What I was trying to say before is that Late Shift had triggers that you pretty much just had to walk around hoping to randomly trip. Uh, and I believe this is probably going to be much the same. Or we could try looking down more long hallways again. That's always a thing. No, 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 don't like it, don't like it, don't like it. Don't like it, we gotta stay out of the dark. Stay out of the dark, stay out of the dark, stay out of the dark. It felt for a second like I wasn't moving. What just, what was that? What was that? Was that just a tracking issue? It looked like, I, I don't even know what it looked like. Okay, where, where am I going? This hallway looks just a little bit darker than the others. Start trying random doors. Imagine you're the caretaker of this place. You're doing your rounds. And one day after you... I'm not even going to finish that thought. I... What? Okay, this just took a turn. Is this maybe supposed to be, like, from a party that was hosted here or something? Like, pre-war? And that's the music. Uh, I'm gonna be so upset if this turns out to be copyrighted and I can't use it, but uh, I guess we just keep talking and hope that we're able to. Oh, this place is all set up as if for a party. Okay, let's avoid, let's avoid standing under the chandeliers, although we may not have much choice. That's not going to be the boss, man. Look, it's all like rusted and dirty. Ah, hello, sir. I'd like to inform you that everything is coming along smoothly in Treblinka. We have everything you asked, planned, and put in place. Also, Alvira himself would love to meet you and thank you for the hard work. Wait, this isn't Joseph. Who is this? Oh god. Oh no. 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 <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm on the second floor. That is... It's like that whole thing was a dream from the moment the lights went out. Well, I, I didn't have accidentally spoke to the ghost of a dead Nazi on my list of things that were going to happen at my first day at work. Oh, that was so creepy. Uh, chandelier still down? Chandelier still down. That happened. But now what? I didn't... I didn't get to pick up the key. Oh, wait. Does that mean that the key is maybe still there? Yes, yes it is. And those chandeliers still sway. I'm actually pretty on edge right now. This map is pretty cool. Uh, come on. All right, let's find that exact spot we have to hover in to be able to grab it. Come on. Uh, uh, this is not built for this. Okay, safe, safe door unlocked. All right, let's get back there. The, the longer we spend walking around, the less safe we are, I think. Get it? Safe? You gotta make little jokes to yourself in situations like this. Uh, 
did not like the sight of both these doors open. Uh, we can probably close that. I don't think we need that anymore. Uh, close this to prevent the sight of anything walking by. All these documents. And no cash. Disappointing. Uh, the Prime Minister, May 2019. William Moore, I dearly hope you take my words into consideration and realize how bad of a decision it is to continue to hire staff, even with the strong evidence that the killings are directly related to them. I suggest strongly that you quit hiring staff and allow the police to continue the search for the source of the killings. Continuing to cover up the news and such letters from myself and over, and over specialists will result in the dissolving of your entire hotel chain. Is this actually, like, the Prime Minister asking this hotel owner, will you please cooperate with the police? Because I don't think that's how any of this works. After hearing multiple complaints about your hotel from the people of Great Britain, the professional team beside me, the Chief of Police, and Queen Elizabeth herself, I have come to the end of writing you this letter myself. Covering up these killings for your own financial gain is to truly have a cold heart. Your hotel has been around since before World War II, one of the worst events in human history. Kind of a non sequitur. Do not let your hotel fall into the category of horrible historical events. They compared this guy's hotel to World War II. Big swing, Mr. Prime Minister. Or your business and reputation will truly fall in a spectacular fashion. All right, well, let's just leave all this stuff on the desk as a warning. October 17th, 2019, more horrifying deaths at the Garavito Hotel with no connections between them. Well, you know, except for the Garavito Hotel. The police continue to say they have no leads or data to help them discover the person behind it all. Some more research shows that there have been killings all the way back to World War II. Due to that, it has marked Garavito Hotel as the most deaths for any building, outmarking the September 11th attacks and more. So like what, like 3,000 plus? That's a big swing. That's a real big swing, and they're still having to get the Prime Minister to ask for permission to investigate. There have been ideas of destroying the hotel, or calling a force replacement, or sacking the current hotel CEOs directly from the Prime Minister himself, due to their awful respect for their employees and their growing debt. The hotel is slowly lowering in positive customer views, but the CEOs still continue to cover up any incoming news that could give the hotel a negative appearance. We urge people to stay away from the location. Yeah, they're covering up all negative news, except this, and the stack of other stuff that's in here. Remember, they bought a copy and put it in the safe, which means the paper is effectively censored. Uh, June 20th, 2019. Another staff member was found dead at Garavita Hotel last night, numbering us up to the 98th death this year. Are these deaths connected? Will we be seeing more? This is like some next level must have been the wind. The police inform us there aren't any leads to connect the killings. Only that each staff member that dies is a caretaker. I... The CEO tries to cover it up with unruly reasons. Seems like they're trying to stay in business. Meanwhile, there are words going around that it's haunted. Queen Elizabeth herself was so bold as to book a room in the hotel with her husband to shut off the rumors that it's haunted, and to get police to get back to work and make an attempt to solve the murders. Hopefully we'll find out who is causing these crimes. We might have better luck with the Ghostbusters. Ah uh, yes, that's uh, truly the queen at work, getting herself murdered to spur the police to investigate. Uh, truly a woman of the people. July 12th, 2019. <laughs> That's right, another body found at the Garavito Hotel. Police continue to say that these events are not connected with no evidence to link them. Information given to us states a male, 32, found dead in a corridor. Signs of violent trauma. Body seemed leached of blood? The times will continue leaking, t leaking towards the story. The CEO has still made no statement. After the Queen visited last month, it made no change to solve the case or to boost the police into continuing it. A brief line from the Chief of London's Police stated, 
We've been getting cases like this from the, from Garavito Hotel since the Second World War. Nothing from that place makes sense. The case is always ongoing, and we're always on top of it. However, I'm afraid we're out of our league. Ah, uh, yes, great statement to ensure public trust. Sounds like a paranormal case. We also suggest not to take any employment from the hotel. The CEO has refused to close or to remove their current employers, despite it being unsafe for them. No, 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 no! Stop! I'm like paralyzed, I don't want to leave this corner! Please stop! Thank you. And that remaining chandelier is at it again. Let me guess, you want me to walk right under it, don't you? Well, it ain't gonna happen. Have those doors opened again? That was horrifying. That went right down my spine, and I just did not want to move at all. Nope, still... Still completely closed, but I faintly hear what sounds like footsteps on the other side, so we're gonna desist. And I guess just walk around and hope to trigger something else. The thought I was trying to... The thought I was trying to get through before this place went and had a little Nazi party was imagine you've been here for like months and you've made a habit of going and just checking all the knobs, making sure they're locked. And then one day, just as you're reaching out to grab one, it wiggles. And you know full well that the door has been locked for months, so who could possibly be in there? Imagine the eyes on us from these peepholes. Well, look, the one remaining place where we haven't had any events is the balcony. So here we go. We've got to find that key, but I just don't know where else to look. We still haven't been in the cupboard. And no lights coming on up here to show us what's on this wall. No. No way. No. Mm 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 mm. Mm Uh. All right. Let's get him. Let's just get him. Uh. This looks like a brain in vase. Unfortunately, I don't have a baseball bat to fend you off with. Oh, what are you? I just realized your proportions are weird. All right, charge! This is what we this is what we do this for for the Garavita Hotel. I value my employment. No, 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 no. That's what I thought. Okay, I don't know if it was required, but the framing of that could not have been better. A long time of nothing, and then from the farthest possible distance. We'll, we'll keep this close at hand. As if it'll actually do anything. Every once in a while, I think I hear what sounds like a faint footstep or something from inside one of the rooms. as if I could sneak up with these thundering footsteps. Ugh!
Maybe it wasn't smart to gift wrap myself like that for the ghosts. Alright, get ready to chuck this thing head first into the face of whoever's on the other side of these doors. Oh no. We're going to the basement, aren't we? Oh no. Look, that door is ajar at the end of the hall. Oh. Is there actually stuff that way? I, I can't even tell. I can't tell if those are walls or if there's halls beyond. That's blood. And fresh blood. But the telltale glow reminds me that there's a key inside. It's like a little chamber just at the end. Oh no. This seems like it's more like an attic. That's what I thought. There's a key. Anything in? No. It's like yellowed old paper. The date is September 29th, 1961. That's... That's when the so-called witch was killed. I hope this finds someone someday. My name is Sarah Don. I'm 27 years old, and I am the current caretaker of this place. Before I do what I do, I thought it would be wise to create some documents to explain what happened to me and my child in case something goes wrong. I took the job early April 1960, and at first everything seemed normal. The people here are nice, and the environment is calm and peaceful. But then I met the previous caretakers, and when I say met, more like haunted. Ghosts of the people who worked here in the past, haunting these halls in a horrifying spectacle. After doing some research, I discovered old news articles and books written about this place. How a lot of the staff, mainly caretakers, seem to die in horrible ways. Always seems to be suicide, or sometimes random exsanguination in the halls. I was surprised to find this information was this hard to find. Either way, it said very clearly that the people in the subject days before they... Wait, people in the subject days before they died were saying odd things. Seeing shadows or hearing noises. Well, it's a good thing none of that applies to us. Uh, now I've been here for over a year now. And I can say I am very much displaying similar or two more of this. Literally yesterday, I saw a corpse hanging from the main room's side balcony. I'd like to say I'm not scared. When I took this job, I moved here with my child, and she's now dead. This place killed her. Made me kill her... her wait, made me kill her, kill my own daughter. It was like I was asleep. I woke with blood over my body and my daughter lying cold in the main room on the main room stairs. I lost it, crying and weeping for hours, days, I'm not sure. I'm losing myself. I can feel this place taking me over. I need to destroy it, burn it. I discovered something, something bad. This place, it's built on cursed land. The papers say it all. This place, it explains everything. The owners tried to cover its story up for years. From the very day it opened, people were dying. I've used fuel for my own car. This place broke my engine to keep me here, to consume me. I will burn it. Covered fuel in sensitive spots of the building. If I fail, you must burn this place. Burn all of it. Everything. Nothing must stand of this place. It's a host to the evil of the dead. <laughs> Use the vodka! This is for Sonny. I'm sorry, my child, for what I've done to you. What this place made me do to you. I truly hope you're rid of this place and not trapped. Like the staff. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, 
It seems like this place tried to stop you, throwing you from the balcony. And then the staff themselves may have finished the job. Well, let's play the key game again. Come on. Yep, 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 come on. There we go. And now we can enter the cleaning cupboard, but not before. We walk back down that hall. Okay, run, 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 flail, flail, flail. At a brisk walking pace into the copyrighted, probably elevator music, so let's just not worry about that. Beep. And let's just uh, chill, I guess, and enjoy our last moment of relative normalcy. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's cool. That's always great, and I... Forgot my braining vase. I don't like the sound of that, don't like the sound of that. Let's just make, let's just make a beeline straight for the cupboard. The hallways have gone dark once more. Oh, come on. Into the dark. Yes, the vodka, we shall use the vodka. Use the vodka and matches to create a large fire in the hotel. Burn it all! Okay, this is my kind of first day on the job. We didn't even have to see this. That's a swastika on a gravestone. Here lies Joseph Berthold? Ber Berchethold? Uh, Second Reich's Fuhrer SS. I don't think we can drop down. I don't think there's any reason for us to do so. Listen to that. Dear CEO William Moore, as instructed, we broke under the floor that was containing a suspicious amount of mold and rot. Instead of finding the suspected dirt foundation bed, we have seemed to discover an old Nazi burial ground dating back to the 19... 1940s. The burial ground seems to contain multiple damaged old tombstones, all with the names of high-ranking Nazi officers, buried right on here in the UK, huh? Some that are of Hitler's right-hand men. As your head of media, if people were to discover this high-ranking hotel was built on war-torn Nazi officer burial site, I'm not confused by the wording there, it would most definitely ruin us. Yes, that is what would ruin you. I'd suggest simply filling the basement area of the hotel with concrete or to manually remove the gravestone heads one by one and hope that none of the workers would leak that this is the situation. Now, we don't want to get silly. Wouldn't want that. But this could explain a lot of the paranormal events that people have been stating to see inside the hotel. A lot of the men buried under us are the worst of the worst. Please take my advice into consideration. And dear CEO Moore, as instructed again, we have built a concrete wall around the Nazi burial site. By doing this, we have buried and destroyed a lot of the graves. I very much wish that you would have listened to me and simply buried these stones in concrete or carefully removed them instead of brutally destroying them. With a site as sensitive as this, we are to be careful. Not only is it a historic site, but it's one of paranormal activity. With the holidays starting, I cannot find anyone to fill the hole left over from construction, so I'll find someone in a few months' time. Till then, I'll lock the doors and deliver the key to you in a few days' notice. I also hope you notice that after we finish the job, 12 staff members were brutally killed in the most abstract of ways. If you fail to notice this is paranormal doing, then I'm ashamed to be your head of media. I want a sitcom. I want a sitcom that, like, details the day-to-day -day lives of the work situation here. Because that would be an incredible comedy more than horror. I mean, try to- when you're writing a story, you should always be thinking, try to imagine this actually playing out. You simply can't. You cannot imagine real people performing these actions and saying these things. Let's set this place on fire and wash our hands of it, shall we? Alright, how does this work? No, seriously, how does this work? Uh, okay. 
start with uh, Sim style, something flammable, something preferably not next to the door though, where I need to get the vodka from. Uh, okay, that's broken. Now, if we go and get ourselves a matchbox, unfortunately, without the benefit of uh, without the benefit of the grav gloves. So if that'll do anything to concrete. I'm christening him like a boat. Wait, how do we how do we do this? Oh! Okay, I guess we did it! Uh run, 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 run! Let's maybe try getting out of here. Post haste. Oh, the boss isn't gonna like this one. And away we go. This doesn't look like the parking lot. Let's go. One last glance behind us. Thanks for playing my map. If you enjoyed, maybe give it a thumbs up. This took me around two and a half weeks to make. It was heavily inspired by The Shining, if you couldn't tell. Also, if you recorded this for YouTube, place your video in the mod comments. I'll place your YouTube channel icon into, into one of the middle room picture frames. Now, well, I don't know if this still applies, but I'll try it anyway. And yeah, thank you for making it. I mean, I criticize the writing a lot. It's definitely a weak point in that it, I feel like it just tells us too much and it's very unsubtle. However, it in no way ruined the map for me. This was definitely my favorite of the three, and I did quite like the other two as well. This was just a really awesome experience, and such a faithful love letter to The Shining. I really enjoyed walking through these halls, and it also had that subtlety where most of it was just me walking around, staring down long hallways, and listening to the echo of my footsteps in this cavernous old building. The map itself is so beautifully crafted, not only as an homage to The Shining and its visuals, but it's just so pretty to look at as like a fan of old architecture. And even, even the bigger scares, such as like coming down the hall and seeing the main room and leading up to the bar all decorated for a party, that music echoing through the space, it's just, oh, it's just so good. It's so immersive in this engine, the graphics so beautiful, everything such high fidelity. And when we touch things, we feel ourselves touching them. We are in this environment, truly. That's what made Half-Life Alex probably the most impressive VR game I've played, and well, that's what makes this one of the most impressive horror experiences. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this map out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.